Hey guys, Catherine here with All Language Resources. Today we are looking at 10 or so apps that will help you to learn Chinese. If you haven't started learning Mandarin already, if you're kind of on the fence about it, let me tell you, it's a lot of fun, okay? I don't know what you're waiting for. You can jump right in today with the help of some of these apps. The first app on our list is Pleco. If you are learning Mandarin and you don't have Pleco on your phone, I don't know what you're doing. Literally everyone I know who learns this language uses this app. It's great. It is a Chinese to English dictionary or English Chinese dictionary. What I really like is that you can search for words in Mandarin and in Cantonese. I've always loved that the different tones are represented with different colors in this app. Oh, so that really helps me. I don't know if it's helpful for everyone, but I absolutely appreciate having the different characters in different colors based on what tone it is. I absolutely love that. And then I'm a huge fan of the add-ons. Specifically for me, the ones I use the most, especially when I lived in China, were the OCR. It's like a camera add-on where I use this mostly when I'm outside reading the names of restaurants. That was very helpful. And then also a clipboard reader they have so you can copy and paste text into the app and then kind of click along and read through things. Another add-on we want to mention is the Outlier add-on. Now this is one that I actually was not familiar with until I began doing this research for All Language Resources and it's a very cool add-on. We've got a little discount you can check out down here. I personally love to use the handwritten character keyboard on my Apple phone with Pleco. It is really helpful because sometimes, you know, I'll come across a character, I, I like, I cannot make heads or tails of this. I don't know what the initial sound or the final sound is. I, sure I've seen this before, but can't remember what it says. So yeah, I really love using that. Up next, we've got the Chairman's Bow and Do Chinese. Both of these are great for people looking to improve their reading skills. You can never go wrong by learning to read Chinese. I just, your horizons are really gonna broaden. Even if you never learn to write Chinese, at least learning to read will help you to really dig into songs, books, movies, all kinds of things. And really just exchanging, you know, on Weixin with your, with your Chinese friends. I think it's a, a great idea. Now, if you are brand new to this thing and you have been wasting your time on Duolingo, I'm sorry, if you've been using Duolingo. <laughs> I think you should check out Hello Chinese. Hello Chinese is free and it's fun, okay? And if you are, once again, a beginner, I think it's just a much better use of your time than some of the other free apps that are out there. Remember, nothing is really free. And so if you're using it and it's not actually getting you anywhere, it's cost to that, right? Definitely check out Hello Chinese. Now this next one, might be a little controversial, okay? I know a lot of people really love this platform and I'm not gonna say that it's not a good one. I think you should definitely check it out. Um, but I think it, whether or not it's useful for you is gonna depend on your learning style, okay? And that is Pimsleur. This one didn't really work for me, but that's just because I'm a very visual learner and I require a lot of stimulation as I'm learning, right? Like I need to be able to kind of use my hands and you know, I'll get up and I'll walk around and talk to myself. I'm so serious, but it helps. This app doesn't really, it's just not good for people like me, but I could see how it would work for someone. Pimsleur has a number of languages for you to choose from. You can't, you can't. But I tried it out some time ago for German and it just, to me it was boring, but once again, that's because I'm a visual learner and I need a little more going on. I just need more happening. But I know that this really works for some people. So I would recommend that you also check out Pimsleur um, for Chinese, especially because one of the strong points of Pimsleur is because you're hearing the repetition quite a lot with a single phrase. If you don't have access to a lot of native speakers around you, um, I think Pimsleur is a great way to start to get the language in your ear and you know, in these muscles, okay? So I definitely recommend you trying it. Once again, might not be the best for visual learners, okay? But worth a shot. Chinese pod I swear by. First of all, I'm a big fan of podcasts. I'm a big fan of being able to hear two people have a discussion in the language. And Chinese Pod offers a number of programs that allow you to either hear someone speaking English to someone speaking Chinese or two people speaking Chinese to one another. I was able to listen to something and when I left my home, immediately I was able to use it as I was living in China. As an advanced student of the language, sometimes it's difficult to find programs in Chinese that are geared towards language learners. So I'm really excited actually to give Chinese Pod a go again. When it comes to learning to write Chinese, I don't really think there's any better teacher than a native speaker 
right next to you who is able to direct your hand to show you what you you know are doing wrong or what you could improve but let's say you don't have access to that then i think that scritter is a great option for you scritter has an app not only for chinese but also for japanese so you know if you're learning to write either of these languages you can check it out Ooh, and one of my favorites I talk now if you have looked up any kind of language learning anything online then you have probably seen an italki ad pop up across your facebook or instagram twitter or something like this if you have not clicked on it if you have been ignoring that ad what is wrong with you because italki really is where it's at there is nothing better than talking to a native speaker when you want to get that practice and really advance in a language okay i am not only a student on italki i'm also a teacher on italki it is a really great community a global and international community of language learners and just a great place to go to practice you know not only will you learn this language but like you'll make friends in in other countries it's a lot of fun okay so definitely head on over to italki or Itokai, I don't know. There's so many different ways. Itoki, Itokai, I'm not sure. I say Itoki, but <laughs> whatever. Then there's SpeechLink, and guys, I, I, you know, like I said, there's not a single thing on here that I'm talking about today that I wouldn't highly recommend. I highly recommend that you check out all of these because we all have different language learning styles, yeah? So what works for me might not work for you. What works for you might not work for me, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't try the thing. SpeechLink is one of those things that doesn't really work for me, but I know really works for some people. So check this one out. I know a lot of people learn by repeating phrases after someone. I'm not one of those people. But if you are, if repeating phrases after someone else um, is helpful to you, then please check Speechling out. For me personally, if I'm going to be repeating something, I would rather hop on, say, like Fluent You or Yambla or something like this. And you can check out our review of those here and here. I know some people absolutely hate flashcards, but so here we've got two. And and honestly, I didn't think that one of these was a flashcard app because it's so it's like gamified, you know, so I just didn't realize that I was using flashcards. But okay, so we've got Memorize and Anki. Anki is definitely the more traditional of, of flashcard apps. Um, and Memorize, yeah, uh, I was all out like arguing with Nick <laughs> about whether or not this was a flashcard app. And I am still like, this is a flashcard app. It's a flashcard app, guys. Yeah, but it's not flashcards in the traditional sense. So I don't even want, if you don't like flashcards, don't pass up Memorize just because you don't like flashcards. I played this thing for a very long time and didn't realize <laughs> that I was playing with flashcards. Now, earlier we mentioned italki, which is, I think most people hire a teacher or a tutor on italki, but you can also find language partners there. Now, if you don't find a language partner for you on italki, there are apps specifically made for helping you find language partners. Everyone on the app is interested in language partners. Sometimes I find on italki, if people reach out to me, for example, I'm not really into language partners. I don't have time. I don't have time. I really don't have time. But if someone reaches out to me, um, because I'm not on italki for the language partner part of it all, I, I kind of feel sometimes like, wow, guys, I kind of wish there was a badge on my profile that would say like, not looking for language partners, you know? But there are two apps that are specifically made for those interested in finding language partners and you can guarantee that anybody on the app, that is what they're looking for. Okay, so that's really good. You're reaching out to people who have also said, yes, this is what I want. And those two apps are HelloTalk and Tandem. Now, once again, not a language partner person, but I have tried these out and reached out to some people, did some interviews, and I found that people on these apps really do enjoy the services. I uh, recommend trying both of them. Do know that when you are finding language partners, um, they, like people have different desires and they're gonna be at different levels of the language. So there's gonna be some trial and error for you to find the right person, but you would have done the same thing on italki. Like even if you're paying a teacher, you might like this teacher, you don't like this teacher so much. It's, it's gonna take you a minute to find the right people. I think that these language partner apps work really well, especially for college students who might not have the budget to invest in their language studies do have a little extra time yeah so try these out i think they're great that's it okay please don't forget to comment below and let us know what you think of these 
apps and if there's anything that we missed you know i think that so many people are learning mandarin chinese and a number of other dialects and probably have some really good things to add to this discussion so okay if you got some time, head on over to alllanguageresources.com where our team has put together so many reviews for you to check out so you can find exactly what works for you on your language learning journey. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do that so that you'll know when the next video is out. You will find all of the codes for the discounts I mentioned today in the description below this video. See you.